What I think is fun with Scarpetta is she never takes her eye off the ball. If her main mission is to try to figure out what happened with cases that occurred nine years ago because the person accused of them is about to get executed, then she is going to keep doing that, doing that, doing that, even if no one else is interested in it. And because she does what she's supposed to do, she ends up solving this over here, which has the whole Pentagon in an uproar because of their concerns about what's going on. But it's because of her and her simple and honest way doing what is right, she, she's going to best the big boys. One of the things that's really unusual about Red Mist is that as opposed to po Port Mortuary, the last book, which was really, really super high tech, I've gone the other way with this in that here you have this chief medical examiner who's the director of one of the most sophisticated forensic facilities in the world who finds herself in a beat up old cargo van in the middle of nowhere in Savannah, Georgia, uh, because she's been asked to go talk to somebody in a prison and against the the, the good sense of, of, of everybody else and the good opinions of everybody else, she's going to go. And so she's down in the low country where she has no jurisdiction. She has very little access to any kind of technology that's similar to what she's accustomed to. She doesn't have her power. And, and she's also in the middle of a conflict of interest when things start going really bad down there. And she's going to find, much to her shock, that something she discovers through her diligence with trying to bring about justice in this very old case that also took place in Savannah Georgia, that that is going to be the key to what is going on today. But a lot of that is just good classic forensic pathology and forensic science, such as a bloodstain uh, analysis. When she looks at the bloody clothes from this mass murder, the whole family that was butchered nine years ago in their home, she begins to recreate in her mind the night that this happened, and what she sees is not what people think, and it changes everything. My, my relationship with the fans is it hasn't so much changed as I think it's picked up where it left off a good 10 or 12 years ago when it became a little less of a trend to do a lot of book tours and have a lot of hands-on um, encounters with fans. And particularly with Twitter, um, you really hear what these people think and they ask questions, they make suggestions. I actually think it's very helpful to me because sometimes the, the most common thing I hear which gets my wheels turning is they'll go, whatever happened to so-and-so? And it'll be some character that I kind of finished with and there's been no mention of for maybe a decade but the fans haven't forgotten this person and I go hmm maybe that person needs to come back and so it's a very it's interactive that way uh, but I found Facebook and Twitter are very valuable and I enjoy doing them it's, it's a big responsibility read Red Mist the unstoppable new thriller from the world's number one best-selling crime writer Patricia Cornwell